Hello and welcome to Modern Brain, the place where you can learn just about anything. And today we're going to learn how to fix your panel if it's not connected to your home network error message on the Vivint panel. So Vivint is a security company that provides smart devices to your home. It's one of the um, highest, uh, most advanced um, companies out there and I am not sponsoring them. I'm not uh, uh, getting paid to do this video, but I thought I'd help out to those of you who are getting this error message on how to fix this issue. So uh, to begin with, we're going to start going through this um, tutorial and uh, hopefully this will fix your issue. So how to fix your uh, quote panel is not connected to your home network error message uh, in your home uh, Vivint dot home security not connecting to your home Wi-Fi. Here's the solution. So first of all, this described uh, Vivint Smartphone is a home security company in the United States. During the setup, they will install what they call the Smart Panel, which is a rectangular ta tablet-looking hub that installs on your wall. This panel connects to two networks, a cell phone data plan uh, and your home Wi-Fi. The cell phone data plan, uh, this will allow Vivint security services to be connected. So in case there is a break-in, they're able to help you out. So the other connection is your home Wi-Fi. This connection will allow you to view your cameras live, receive uh, detailed no notifications and other cool features. Uh, many of you are familiar with the product called Ring, which became very popular um, after the CEO actually went to Shark Tank and was actually uh, didn't get any anybody to invest in his company, and he became very uh, successful with his product. Well, Vivint um, actually makes a similar product. Um, which allows you to see if anybody is around your outside of your camera, outside of your home. Your camera will detect and uh, do a noise so that way the person who's outside being detected will look at the camera and therefore it'll record that moment that, that somebody is next to the video. So um, we, we're starting to, to kind of explain how the panel works. Uh, so it has two connections that we've just described. Some people are getting uh, the following error message saying that the their panel is not no longer connected to their home Wi-Fi, which means that their security is still working since the cellular data is still working, but the features described above that are affected by not being connected to the home Wi-Fi stop working. So if you lose connection to the cell phone data plan, then you must call Vivint right away because your security feature will not work. But um, if, if your Wi-Fi st stops connecting, to the to the panel then the other features are not going to be able to work and that's when you either got to call them or try to figure out if uh, hopefully this tutorial will help you how to do that so this is kind of like the error message that you will see the panel goes on your wall and this is how you would lock uh, or, or put on the security when you go at night you can uh, it's the touch screen so you would click on where it says uh, the little X just touch and drag uh, this uh, down to disarm to the left to alarm your system your home security system or to the left to the right or to the left either way uh, whether you're staying at home or leaving the home but uh, many occasions the panel will display this error message called your panel is not connected to your home network and by the time that you're seeing this uh, tutorial it might be different since there might be some updates on the panel or the panel might not even look this way since years have passed or months have passed and they've updated the panel but this is similar to how the message will show so what do you do when this happens um we will show show you today okay step one and i apologize if there's a uh, my face my beautiful face is blocking some of the words here but i will read it for you step one try the steps that vivin support asks you to do See the description for the link to those instructions. So visit support, uh, Vivint, I'm sorry, uh, support has a page de designated to fix this issue. You can find this fix here. The description, um, a clickable description link is at the bottom of this video, um, which is shown right there. But what happens when your home Wi-Fi does not show up in the Wi-Fi name list? So the, the error message um, will the, I'm sorry, the solution to this, according to Vivint support, will ask you to go to the settings here to general and then find your home network and then connect to your home network. 
But the issue is that some of, sometimes your panel will disconnect from the home Wi-Fi and your network will, will not show up here. So for those that are new to technology, your home panel is almost like a tablet or a phone. So the same way that you connect to a Wi-Fi, when you connect to your Wi-Fi at home, it's the same way you would connect your home Vivint panel to the Wi-Fi at home. So sometimes you, or not sometimes, but in this issue, you will not see your home Wi-Fi in the list and that becomes a problem and this is how to fix that. So what happens when your home Wi-Fi does not show up in the Wi-Fi uh, name list? So here I've uh, squ uh, put a square here, a red square over the home connections that your home uh, is shooting out that you need to connect to, but what if it doesn't show up? So we'll fix uh, this on, you know, so we can have them show up. So step two, troubleshoot your home network make sure your computer is connected to the wi-fi at home so you got to get a computer okay um just any computer laptop uh could be mac it could be uh a windows computer okay just make sure it's connected to the home wi-fi that you need the, your home panel to be connected to so you, those both have to be connected to the same uh connection so make sure your computer is connected to the wi-fi at home open your browser uh, at the address at the top type 192.168.0.1, which is called the default gateway or default IP address. This is the address that most ISP um, have as the kind of like the portal. It's kind of like a door so you can access your home network. For Mediacom, this is the gateway, the default IP address to get to that uh, user interface so you can log in and, and configure your network. Um, so don't get scared when, you know, I'm talking in these terms. I know some of you are new to this, but don't be scared. Just uh, one thing that you will need to find out is, um, for example, I have Mediacom. You will have to find out um, what it, what your your IP is. For CenturyLink, it might be the same, 192.168.0.1. Most of them are the same. So it all depends on your home, uh, your ISP, your internet service provider. Uh, this address allows you to configure your router settings using a uh, graphical user interface. Okay, so see one at the right. So graphical user interface is so sort of like the screenshot that you see on there. And it'll ask you for a password. Depending on your router, the IP might be different than the one above. For Mediacom, it's the one that we mentioned. To find out yours, follow step three. So we're going to find out what your IP would, would be. Okay, so step three, finding your router's uh, default gateway. So the first thing you need to make sure is that you are connected either wireless or through an Ethernet using your computer to your home uh, router, okay? So to find out what your default router IP, go to your start menu and type command prompt and press enter. This will launch this black screen on your, uh, on your screen, okay? The black screen type IP config without the quotes space forward slash all and then press enter okay make sure it's the forward slash the forward slash that is uh that is has a symbol of the question mark on your keyboard okay so once you press enter you will see a whole bunch of list of things here and what you're going to look for is going to be called the default gateway in my scenario in my case if you look at the list here in the screenshot um i've protected my stuff here but my default gateway is 192.168.0.1 because that's the last one here, default gateway. Yours might be different, but this is how you figure it out, what your default gateway is. And this is what you're going to type on the browser on the top. You see how I type it? Once you type it on the browser, click enter, and it'll take you to this login page. Okay, step four, log into your default IP user interface. Okay, so disclaimer, please, if you don't, if you don't feel comfortable going through the step, please step back, call your Vivint support, um, full disclaimer, uh, you can mess your network up if you don't know what you're doing or you're not following instructions as they are in this video. So I am not responsible if you screw up your um, your network and uh, once you're subscribed to my channel and you get mad at me and then you're gonna unsubscribe, please uh, call your, your, um, your support team and they will be glad to help you out. So this is for a little bit intermediate uh, people that kind of know how to how to do this. So in the control panel, 
sign, the sign on screen, type the username and password. Okay, for Mediacom customers, your email address should have been provided to you when you signed up for Mediacom. It's usually first, last name, at media, mediacombb.net and enter the password you have set up. So for CenturyLink, you might want to call them and they'll get you a username and password. Um, they should have given it to you when you set it up as well. Um, and this is usually what you use to log in. So you can change your Wi-Fi name. So you can change your Wi-Fi password in case, you know, your neighbors figure out your password and you want to change it. This is how you do it. Okay, so I'm going to give you a little tip. Sometimes the default gateways have a default admin credentials tag. You can Google, like, what is CenturyLink's router default admin username and password. You can actually, believe it or not, you, there's default passwords that are set already that you can just Google, and they will let you know what the password is for certain um, Internet service providers. So that might be a, a little tip that you might you can follow instead of calling your uh, service provider. But again, um, be careful. Uh, when once you log in, okay. If you cannot find your username and password, contact your ISP, okay. So once you're in there, find your network, okay. So there will be a list, and I protected some of the stuff for my protection, for my privacy. Um, you will see every single item, every single uh, equipment, every single tablet, Apple phone that is connected to your home Wi-Fi, either through Wi-Fi or Ethernet. It'll find it right here. Okay, so in, in my case, I have an iPad, I have an iPhone, and as you can see down here, there's something called Vivint Panel 7 and then something else, because that is the name of my panel that is connected. But sometimes it will not, since it's not connecting to my panel, I will need to do the following step. So your network page should allow you to see all the items connected to your current network. You will notice your Vivint host name is there. Click on it. Okay, once you click on it, um, you will see that you can edit the name and icon. Okay, so click edit name and icon. Your inter user interface might look different, but it might have similar uh, buttons, similar uh, things like edit the, um, the name of it. So what I'm trying to do here is change the name of it. It's not going to hurt your uh, service. It's basically going to change the name of your panel so it could send another IP and refresh it. Okay, and this usually works to clear this error message. So if you've gone this far, you're doing a great job. Um, try not to screw things up. Try not to disconnect them, do anything. Just follow the instructions, okay? Make sure you rename your host to something that is not the same as the previous name. This will allow your Vivint host to refresh and allow your network to provide another IP address. Therefore, fixing your issue, you will notice that your Vivint will now see the network as part of the list so w when you click the edit name and icon here in the black box this page will show up and this is where you start typing the new name and then click save um, right here i know you can't read it but this is um, next to to my left here where is it at right about there okay this is change the name of your vivid host okay so apologize my huge face is on the way um, but uh, once you've done that, then you click save and then you go back to your panel, walk over to your panel and then you will go to general uh, networks after a few minutes, go back to your Vivint panel and navigate to general and networks and you will notice your network will now show up in the network lists. Now this tutorial, I, I couldn't do it had I not tested it first with, with, uh, with myself. I, have, I actually have Vivint. And actually, I am a uh, I sell Vivint on the side, um, but I am not doing this video to sell my Vivint. Honest, I'm being completely honest. But if you would like to sign up for Vivint, I will leave a link at the bottom, and that would be great if you want to support me. I do get a commission if I sell it, but I have Vivint, and I actually had this issue. I didn't call support. Um, what I did, I just did this, and um, I fixed it. So. My panel was working, the security system was working, but the cameras could not connect to my Wi-Fi, so I was not able to see my cameras, which I actually prefer to have my security services working uh, rather than the other features, so that could have waited. Uh, but once your uh, security is not working, that's when you want to call Vivint. But in this case, since the other features weren't working, I was able to take my time and kind of fix it myself and decided to do a tutorial. So once you see your... Uh, 
your network here, then click on it and it'll connect. You push your pa put your password in there and it's gonna connect. So once you rename that network that we just described here, once you rename it, it shouldn't change the password. It'll be the same pa network password that you will use to connect to the Wi-Fi. So there, there you go. Um, this is the tutorial and hopefully this will fix your issue. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask in the comment section below. Subscribe for more videos and thank you so much for watching Modern Brain. This is the channel where you're going to learn some cool stuff and don't forget to follow my other channels that are in the description below. Thanks for watching and I hope you learn more today. Thank you.